in this how-to guide, we explain the functionality of the options and data entry fields used by authors when creating a list page. List pages differ from article pages in three ways. The ability to display full page portrait images, the ability to display information in the form of a structured list, including links to other pages, and the ability to link a list page to an article and display the list page when an Infopond app user taps the icon of a linked article. In order to create list pages, you must be registered with us. Registration is easy and done through our app. Simply download and install the Infopond app, select Contribute Content located under the Tools option, and follow the prompts. We'll process your application and get straight back to you. To create a list page, log in to infopond.net using a PC, click List Page, and then click Create List Page. We shall explain how to create a list page by starting from the top of the Create List Page and progress down to the last option. In this video, we shall display a list page that has already been created. This assists in displaying how fields are used and displayed in the Infopond app. Submit. This option is provided both at the top and bottom of the page. It is very important to note your input is only saved if and when you click Submit. Otherwise, your input is not saved. To locate this page after it is saved, you must search for it by the title you define for this page. Back to list. This option is provided both at the top and bottom of the page. Click this option only if you do not want your changes to this list page to be saved when you exit the list page. Template checkbox. The template checkbox is only available and displayed if you are allocated an administrative role. It permits administrators to create and display a sample list page template. List page templates are displayed at the beginning of the list of list pages before other list pages. Users can open a list page template to understand how they should structure their own list page. Templates are a great way to get started in understanding how to best create your own list page. Source language. This field defaults to English. Do not change this because Infopond will translate English list pages into 11 other languages. Once translated, you may then edit your translated pages. List page URL. The URL in this field is only displayed after the list page has been saved by clicking the submit button. Use the URL content displayed in this field to link this list page to an article by selecting the copy option. Then paste the copied URL into the relevant field of an article page. URL use case, the right arrow, go to next page. Copy and paste this URL, as just described, into the display right arrow field of an article page. Then, when a user views that article when using the Infopond app, a right arrow will appear. If they tap on the arrow, the app will display this list page. This is handy for guiding a user from one page to another in the app. It may also be used to display a full page image related to an article page, but more on that below. Another URL use case, display this list page first. Copy and paste this URL as just described into the display this page first field of an article page. Then when a user taps the relevant icon to view that article using the Infopond app, they will be redirected and this list page will be displayed. Use this example if you wish to anchor a list page to a map location. Organization. This field defaults to displaying the organization that the logged in user is associated to within Infopond. When each user registers with Infopond, if a user does not define an organization, then their name may be used as the title of the organization to which the user is associated within Infopond. Title. Infopond uses content in the title field when performing a search for a list page. Title is displayed to Infopond app users only if the checkbox next to this field is checked on. Titles should be brief and to the point. It is best not to start the title with words like the or a. It is also best not to use punctuation unnecessarily in titles 
and avoid plurals if possible. This makes matching a search term to a list page title more efficient. Top banner landscape image and full page portrait image. As the titles indicate, you may display either style of image at the top of a list page. Use the relevant file management tool to upload an image relevant to your desired page format. InfoPond will scale the file size of the image that you upload to a size suitable for use with mobile devices. An image is displayed to InfoPond app users only if you check on the checkbox next to the desired image field. Display list page from to. These fields are only available and displayed if you are allocated an administrative role. They permit administrators to enable and disable list page functionality for each user or organization. Display list sections. If you wish to create and display a list to app users, then check on display list sections. If you simply wish to use a list page to display a full page portrait image, then leave this option checked off. List section. Lists created in list section enable the creation of list-based pages, such as a menu like this, or a guide to what's on in a town or region like this. The following screenshot displays all the fields available in list section and where they are displayed on a list page in the InfoPond app. You may wish to note the location in this video of this image so you can come back and refer to it. To create a list in the style of the menu, click on list page in the top toolbar, search for the menu template and use this as a reference to create your own menu. You must create your own menu in a separate tab because you cannot save changes to templates. You will note that the content of the entree in the example edit list section looks like this. To create a list in the style of a guide to a cultural event complete with links to exhibits, click on list page in the top toolbar, search for the white knight template and use this as a reference to create your own guide. You must create your own guide in a separate tab because you cannot save changes to templates. Or to create a list in the style of a visual guide to a cultural event without links to exhibits, click on list page in the top toolbar, search for the White Knight Carlton Gardens West template and use this as a reference to create your own visual guide. Again, you must create your own visual guide in a separate tab because you cannot save changes to templates. To create a list in the style of a guide to what's on in a town or region, including links to other pages, click on list page in the top toolbar, search for the Bendigo see and do template, and use this as a reference to create your own regional directory. You must create your own regional directory in a separate tab because you cannot save changes to templates. A few points to note. Left, middle and right link texts are only displayed in the app if you insert a URL in the relevant field to the right. If you enter text into both text1 and text2 fields and upload an image in the same list section, then the image will be displayed below text1 and text2. Clicking submit in add list section adds the section to the list page but does not save the list page. You must click Submit located on List Page to save the additional list sections to the list page. Footer links. The option is only available if it is not greyed out. The following applies only where the option is available. We shall explain this function by giving an example of its use. Let's say you have a ticketing service selling seats at your venue and you wish to make the public aware of this in the list page you are creating. Simply enter the text tickets into, for example, the field named middle link text and enter the URL for your ticketing provider in the URL field to the right. You may also use the other two fields in a similar manner. Each of the three fields is limited in length to ensure one field does not overwrite the other when displayed to a user viewing this article on their cell phone. These text fields, not the URLs, are displayed at the base of your article and the relevant third-party web page associated to the URL is displayed to the user when they tap on one of the text strings. Colors. These options enable you to define the color of the relevant field for each list page you create. 
click on a color to start the color selection process. Click Submit and your InfoPond list page is completed. It will now be processed by InfoPond's cloud services, and if translation is available to your organization, then it will be auto-translated into 11 other languages using artificial intelligence. Don't forget, list pages are not displayed to InfoPond app users unless the list page URL is linked to an article page as described earlier. 